Hello everyone. Um, so this is for anybody that missed Monday's class or anybody that wants a refresher and a run through of what's going on because this week looks a little different and there's some important pieces. Okay. Our target, as you can see right here, is to use the recovery and reflection tool to analyze, organize, and enact your plan for success. So the recovery and the reflection tool is the one piece of new assignments for English class this week. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Uh, at the end of last week and then over this weekend, I took a look at the bigger picture and I just want to talk about that and why we're, why we're stopping and why we're changing. Um, right now, um, our live attendance for English class is anywhere from 30% to at the most 60%. So not everyone's getting on either like from technical issues to just personal issues or like whatever the case may be. Um, our live attendance is pretty low and, and that, that's part of getting into that habit and that rhythm. And obviously, if you're watching this, you did. You missed a little bit. You have to uh, wait for the end of this video. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you a certain thing to tell me as proof that you watch this. It won't be at the very end, but it will be near the end. So make sure you find that piece. That's going to be your points for doing this. Um, in addition to that, our work completion rate across all my classes is significantly low, right? 20 to 40% of any given assignment is getting completed. And then I looked at the classes in general and 76% of students have a, at least one DRE in some class. And all but four of my students across all my classes, all but four, are missing at least one grade in power school um, at least that I can see right I can't see everything but the stuff that gets published um, like I know that everybody's missing at least one like class average grade when I stop and think about that I think about that must mean that there are some significant challenges to this and instead of just pretending and pushing forward and adding more stuff onto that pile that is going to not get done that is going to increase anxiety that is going to decrease grades I want to stop and help you guys figure out where you are, what you need, and, and how to move forward so that we can do it in a, in a really productive manner and still, and still be able to engage in that learning so you're not losing the learning as well. Okay, so that's why I wanted to do it. I just wanted to stop. So our attendance this week. This week, you are expected to be here on your conference day live. Then I'll show you what, that, uh, what the schedule is. And it's also in the module. The schedule is in the module. The other days, you need to log into the uh, Canvas to the English class specifically, and that is going to be your attendance. So you know, if I can see you working on those other days, that's going to count for your attendance. And when it is your conference day, you need to make sure you show up for your conference. The conferences are going to be during class time, both the synchronous and the asynchronous, and you only have to show up for your block of time. For your conference it's going to be um you know five five minutes to maybe like you know seven or eight minutes in the smaller classes and we will talk about uh we'll talk about your plan we'll look at your we'll look at your english stuff we'll look at your other stuff if english stuff is doing fine and uh and we'll figure out what you need this week to to spend your time on to focus your energy on and 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 other kind of resources and help that you might need and we're going to use the recovery and reflection piece to guide us through this process the one thing I do want to tell you about is we are starting a new procedure and I'm going to call it let's zap our English grade. Zap stands for zeros aren't permitted, right? I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of putting in zeros because I think it lowers the, it lowers the, your class average, uh, unrealistically, but this is what I'm going to do. Um, cause some of them right now have zeros for like the little point value ones. Some of them just say missing and don't have any grade. Some of them I put like a 50% grade in, um, just so you can kind of see what would happen to your average. I am going to change that starting tomorrow. So starting Tuesday, anything that is missing in Canvas and PowerSchool will have zeros. But these are not zeros that stick because our phrase is that zeros are not permitted. This is your signal, right? The zero is your big red flag that you need to fix this. The immediate negative thing is you're going to watch your average go down. But what I want you to know is that that's not where it stays, okay? I am going to do everything I can to help you remove those zeros, as are you. We're gonna to work together, we're gonna to get, we're gonna find what we need to make our way through this. What we need might be individual tutoring. What we need might be like a different plan. What we need might be just, you know, some extra resources like physical resources, technology resources. Um, what we mean, what we need might be more conferences, right? Like who knows? But like, this is gonna be part of the new plan. 
And this week we are like, we're really trying to like nail down what you need individually. So with that being said, let's take a, what, a look at what this is going to look like. If you come into the modules, so this is, this is for period one, period three, period two, yours looks the same this week. Um, it's just a little bit, you're not going to have the multiple things in our, in week seven, in our learning path, there's a recovery and reflection assignment. In this assignment, you are going to download a document either in Google or, or Word format, and you are going to fill, use the steps and fill this out. We're going to take a look at that in just a moment. Underneath that, in the scheduling, are two things. There is the week, there's the conference schedule. This is the individual conference schedule. And then there's the open tutoring schedule. The open tutoring schedule is the same for everybody, and it's got focuses for each day of the week. But if people aren't showing up and you've got other questions, you can also pop in. So every day from uh, 245 to 345, Monday and Tuesday, um, I'm going to be like reserve it primarily for the creative nonfiction process. Anybody that, that needs help with that, that needs some feedback on that part, that's what Monday and Tuesday are going to be for. Wednesday and Thursday are going to be for the fiction analysis. So talking about loser, talking about night calls, talking about structure, talking about summary, all those things. That is the primary focus for Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday. Anytime I'm not in a meeting, I will throw up the uh, I'll throw up the Zoom, and it's gonna just gonna be open for whatever. Just drop in. I'll send a message on Remind about that, and then and that is the link for it right there as well. So that is open for everybody. Um, you, so you might be in there by yourself. You might there might be a few people show up. Whatever it is. The individual stuff is going to happen during class. So you're going to find your period, period one and three, they're in the same one. Period two, you have just the one link. And you have, like, you might be one of two things. You might be in the synchronous part of class, which is the part we usually meet, or it might be in the asynchronous part. So you are, like, whatever your schedule block is, that is when I expect you to show up. And, like, there, obviously there'll be a few of us, and we'll just kind of, we'll take them turn by turn. We will talk about your plan. We will talk about your grades. Um, depending on the, it's really depending on the time uh, about how much, how much we get into it. But I at least want to make sure you understand what you have, what you don't have and, uh, and prioritizing that and figuring out how you can work through the rest of this week. Um, so you can also show up at other times and see if we have openings, like if people don't show up or whatever, and you want to knock it out early, that's, that's pa perfectly fine. But these are like for, look for the schedule for your schedule block. That is the day you are showing up to synchronous class. Even if it's in the asynchronous block, that's the time when, that, that you're going to like be required to be there. We will have our conference. The rest of the time you are logging in to Canvas and doing your doing your work, be it for English class or other class. So this unit one recovery and reflection, that, this is this document right here. And there are four parts to it. The first part is getting your assignments and grades down. So uh, everything I talk about, that is in these directions. So you can, you can look at the directions or you can come back and watch this video. You're going to fill out one of the three tables for assignments and grades, table A, B, and C. If you are, if your grade in English is, is struggling a little bit, you're going to do table A and you can see, I've got the assignment names and where they are located. So you're going to fill that out with, you're going to put your average at the top. You're going to put the grades in each one, and then you're going to highlight based on whether you need to do it. It's already done, or you'd like to resubmit it. So there'll be three different colors. And what that would look like when it's filled in might be something like this. I've got my grade here, my, these gray ones, you can see I've already done them. I gray, I don't have to worry about yellows. I still need to do And this blue, the CNF scene. I need to, I would like to redo that and resubmit it. So that's what it'll look like at the end. If your English grade is okay, but you have another class where you are struggling, then I want you to use table B. You can see it looks very, very similar, right? What class, what's my average? What am I working on? And then, and so this is a little more nebulous, but um, I want you to like really take ownership of what this is and put that in there. If, if, if that is your category, then it might look something like this, right? Hey, I'm focusing on history. Right now I've got a 61. Here are the assignments. Here are the things that I need to figure out. So it'll look something like that. If all your grades are good, but you are missing a, a, missing a class completely, which is almost everybody, um, then your table C, you're just going to write down like which class it is and Hey, like this, this was the resolution. This is what I know. Cause I can only see a little bit. I can't see everything, but I want you to understand what's going on with your own classes. Um, so there might be one or two people that are exempt from all three tables, but more than likely you are not. Okay. And if you're not sure about that, ask me and I will tell you which one to do. 
So that is, that's part one, your assignments and grades, because once you have that chart, chart you know exactly um, what to do. And then if you need help prioritizing, that's what our conference is for. Part two is getting connected, getting connected communication. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you signed up for Remind. Um, this is the uh, code for period two. Um, period one and period three, you have a different code. It's in your document. Um, and then you're gonna paste a screenshot here of something, right? You can see I got my classes joined here. You can take a screenshot of a message that, you know, like one of my announcements that I sent, just anything at all. Um, and if you don't know how to make a screenshot and put it in, there's two videos right down here below. This, this first one, it will um, show you how to do it on Windows or Mac or a Chromebook because Chromebook, they're all a little bit different. And then the second one, adding it to this table, that is me actually using this document and showing you how to put that in there right there. So that's how you do that. The other things you want to do is, is with your parents and or guardians. Have at least one of them sign up for Remind and please put their name right here because I have to physically con uh, connect them to your account. Um, so put their name right there, especially if it's different, especially if I, if I won't recognize it, I don't want to make any assumptions, put it there um, and then have them also linked as an observer on your Canvas account. And this video link right here shows you exactly how to do it. You as the student need a code and then, then, then your parent is going to use that code and create their own Canvas account. I will be able to see this so you do not have to put proof in there. Once they do that, I'll be able to check that out. And that is part two. And that's what, it, that's what it'll look like at the end. You'll have a screenshot in here. You'll have a name in here. And this one, there won't be anything, but you just got to make sure that you have them uh, as an observer on your Canvas account. Part three is our conference. That This is our conference time. The pre-conference part is optional, right? You might not get to it. We might do it first day. Um, but it would be nice if you looked at stuff and you already had some questions or some concerns and you can see it can be about something in English. Where do I find the story? It could be about something not in English, right? I'm watching my sisters and I don't have enough time to do all my schoolwork. That's super valid. We can talk about that and we can kind of figure some stuff out. The post-conference is required. The post-conference, it better be a yes. Don't let it be a no, all right? This is like these are easy points, but more than easy points, they're getting you back on track. And then what are the next steps? Your goals? What am I doing first this week? That's the stuff you want to put in the takeaways. So any what well, the stuff that we talk about, as soon as we get done, hop into this document, type it down, and Bob's your uncle. You're ready to go. And the last part is the unit reflection. Before I get to the unit reflection, let me tell you what you have to do, what you have to tell me that you watched this whole thing in your conference. You have to tell me that my name, the name of my kitten is Spetro. And Spetro is Italian for ghost. And that's what you have to tell me that I know that you watch this video. Spetro is the name of my kitten, and it is Italian for ghost, because she's white and adorable. Anyways, back to this. Part four is our unit one reflection. So I've, I've given you a lot of information here, but what you wanna focus on is the big bold prompt. How is a connection, a lack of connection, or an attempt at a connection helped you understand yourself a little bit better, right? Our big theme for this year is identity. Who am I? What's my place in the world? figuring that kind of stuff out for ourselves. Our first little unit one was all about connection. So all these bullet points right here are some of the different things that we did that explored connections. Connections in text, connections with each other, connections with yourself. You can use any of those to write about how you maybe figure something out about yourself. Or you can use anything that you experienced in these last six weeks. It does not have to be relegated to English class because we live in the world. We don't live in one class. Um, and, and the stuff that we do is not applicable just to the 90 minutes that we're together. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's applicable to your life at large too. So if you've got something else that this kind of like triggers and makes sense to you and you're like, oh yeah, you know what, actually this, go ahead and use that. So a short little paragraph, four to, four to, four to eight sentences about what is what kind of connection in any kind of manner um, are you focusing on? Like like take that take that um, that example that piece of evidence really is what it becomes, um, and explain how it impacted you. What did you learn about yourself? What did you change about yourself? Um, anything like that at all? So then like that's just like a little unit wrap up because we're gonna move after this we're gonna move on to our next unit. This document these four parts is the new work today or the new work this week. The rest of the time, I want you to show up for your conference, we'll figure out a plan, and then determine, do you need to recover work in English class or do you need to recover, that's right, it's recovery and reflection. Reflection is that last part four. Recovery is the rest of the stuff. 
what, am, what do I need to catch up on? What do I need to understand? What questions do I need to get answered um, for online learning at Parkland, whether it's English class or not, okay? So uh, once again, Spetro is my cat and it's Italian for ghost because she is white and adorable and a little bit spooky. Um, reach out if you have any questions, please, please, please show up for your conference and, um, and take, out, take a look at those open times in the afternoon for tutoring sessions to get help with those individual topics as well. Thank you so much and see you in class.